Alright, today I'm going to show you how to hook up a dimmer switch and a receptacle to use for your incubator. Alright, as you see here, I just went to Home Depot and bought me a little 4x4 box, a 2 gain class ring, a Romex connector, a receptacle, and a dimmer switch. This here is just an extension cord I had here that wasn't too good, so I just cut a piece of it off with the male end on there. Okay, just want to take your Romex connector, put it in your box, get in there nice and tight. Take your wire, push it through, then you're going to tighten it down on your wire here. Get you about an inch of in insulation in there. You want about, I'd say about three or four inches of your bare wire hanging out. Tighten it down on it. Alright. Then take the clasp ring, put it on there, tighten it down on there. Alright, now you're going to wire up the receptacle. I've showed you in other videos how to wire them up, but basically you're going to take on your silver screw, you're going to put your white on there. Just fold it around your screw. The reason why I'm not pushing it in the back is because this is stranded wire. And it's hard to get it in there. So I'm just putting it around the screw. Tighten it down on there. Okay. I've got my lead coming out of my dimmer switch going to my receptacle. Now your hot wire that's coming off of your uh, extension cord here, you want to hook it to the other side of your dimmer switch. Basically what you're doing is you're bringing power into your dimmer switch, you're using your dimmer switch to cut down the electricity on your light bulb and what that's going to do is control that temperature in there. And you see here on the other one it goes out to your receptacle and the light that you put in your incubator you can plug it in now on your dimmer switch you're going to have a ground what I'm going to do is just twist both of these together your ground coming out of your extension cord and put them on the ground screw for the receptacle Just fold your little hook on there and put it up under there. Now you see your silver side, you got your white, ground is on green, black is always on brass. I'm going to take one of my wires from a dimmer switch and loosen my other screw on my brass side because you got to have your hot going into your dimmer switch fold it over run your screw back down on it Alright, now you just want to put your screws in here and tighten them down. Same way on your dimmer switch. Put your screws in there and tighten it down.
and there you have it. You just plug it into your 110 receptacle. Now you got power coming in. You can control your light as temperature control. Now remember, on your dimmer switch, some of them turns on where if you twist it. Some of them are a push type, like this one here. You have to push it down to turn your power on, and then you can adjust the power. 